Okay, so good news. Uh, Apple Pen, I got a new one. So I can start doing some videos again, which is nice because it's been a while. Um, and also, school started up for me. So essentially what I'm doing is, these are my homework problems. These are homework problems given to me uh, by my classes. And something similar might be given to you as well. And there's something I think to learn from it. Could be very similar to a question you had. Uh, this comes from my modern physics class. It was our first homework uh, question. It's basically just a review of mechanics. So might as well go ahead and do it. It says an atom of mass m in the positive x direction with speed v. So that's the pink one. Collides and sticks with an atom of mass 2m, that's the green one, that's moving in the positive y direction. I have it kind of crooked. Let's see if I can... I don't know if I can fix it or not, but it's supposed to be in the y direction is the point. Uh, they collide together, and... They want us to find the speed and the direction and the kinetic energy loss. So let's just start with the speed. Uh, so, what? so to do that, we're going to use momentum, in particular conservation of momentum. So conservation of momentum, P, or P final equals P initial. Okay? So let's go through this. Momentum initial is equal to, and we're going to have to break this up into X and Y components because momentum is a vector. Uh, initially, the momentum in the X direction is MV. Momentum initial in the y direction is, let's see, the mass, which is 2m, times the velocity, which is 2 thirds v. So let's see, that's 4mv over 3. So that's our initial, and that's our, in the x and y. And there's also final momentum. So momentum final, uh, final in the x is equal to mass times velocity. So let's see, that's going to be m plus 2m, because we're adding our mass, so that's 3m, times velocity in the x direction, and this is resultant velocity. So I just put a subset rx. So the velocity we're looking for in the x direction, these are all vectors. And we can do the same thing with the final uh, y momentum. Again, they're combining, so that's going to be 3m times the velocity resultant in the y direction. And my cat is laying on me, so if my thing moves, that's why. Okay, so we have that down, and we're saying momentum final is equal to momentum initial. All right. Well, momentum in the x direction, momentum final in the x direction is three mass, the velocity in the x direction that we're looking for, so r sub x, equals the only velocity, or the only momentum we have in the x direction initially is just mv. And then in the y direction, we can do the same thing. Initially in the y direction, you have 4mv over 3 is equal to 3mvry. And in both cases, the mass is dropped, which is good news for us. And then all we need to do is solve for our velocities. So Velocity resultant in the x direction 
is just one third of V. And on this side, if we divide by three, it's four ninths V is equal to the resulting velocity in the y direction. Okay. Well, now we can use the fact that your velocity resultant is going to be the square root of VRx squared plus VRy squared to find the velocity. Um, and let's see, you will get the square root of 1 ninth v squared plus, let's see, 16 over 81 v squared. You could factor out a v and you'll get v times the square root of 1 ninth plus 16 over 81. And if you work that out, uh, I have a calculator here. I'll just do that really fast. I have the solution somewhere, but not right on me. 1 ninth plus 16 over 81 is 20 fifths over 81. Or 5v over 9. So this is the first part of the question, the resultant speed. The direction will take just a few moments here. The angle is equal to tangent inverse of the y component over the x component. And if you plug that in, Let's see, where is the y component? The y component is 1 ninth, 4 ninth v over 1 third v. You'll see the v's drop, and if you flip, let's see, that's 4 thirds. So 53.13 degrees, oops. And that's your angle. So we now know this and we know the angle. So the direction is what they call it, the direction of motion of the combination. And now they want us to find the kinetic energy lost in this inelastic collision. So, kinetic energy is not conserved. Energy is conserved, right? It's just not necessarily kinetic energy. It could be transfer transferred into other forms of energy, like heat or uh, what have you. But kinetic energy, specifically kinetic energy, is not conserved. Energy is, but not necessarily kinetic energy. So, kinetic energy initial is going to be equal to kinetic energy final. And kinetic energy isn't uh, conserved here because it is an inelastic collision. If it was elastic, then energy would be conserved. Just so you know, that's not always the case. Uh, plus, so the initial kinetic energy plus the final equals the final kinetic energy plus, uh, I'll just say energy converted. What I'll just call EC. I'll just call that EC for now. So, negative the change in kinetic energy 
is equal to the energy converted that we was converted into something else. So if we subtract the kinetic energy final from both sides and factor out a negative, it's just the change in kinetic energy. Or negative one half m final, so that'll be m plus 2m. The resulting velocity squared, which we now know, minus, well, what kinetic energy at missile did we have? We had 1 half mv squared, right? Minus 1 half times 2m, so this is the one going straight up, and then how fast was it going? Was it 2 thirds v squared? And this is the energy converted. So negative 3m over 2. The resulting velocity, which we solved for earlier, is 5 ninths v. 5 ninths v squared. Minus just 1 half mv squared, nothing to see there. Minus, let's see, this 2 drops with this 2. So you get 2m. Or, I'm sorry, that's not being squared. So minus m. And then I'm going to just go ahead and square this. 4 ninths. So 4m over 9 v squared. Okay. Minus, let's see, that's going to be uh, 5 squared is 25. 25 times 3 is 75 m over, let's see, 81 times 2 is, uh, let's just plug it in here, 162, 162 v squared, minus 1 half mv squared minus 4m 9v squared is equal to your energy converted. The resulting velocity was 5 ninths v. So yep, that's going to be 25 and then 25 times the 3. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, and I'm just going to distribute the negative. So we get 4m v squared over 9 plus m v squared over 2 minus 75 m v squared over 162 is your energy convert. Now you can go ahead and get your common denominator. I'm just going to go ahead and add those guys up. So let's see, that's 4 ninths plus 1 half minus 75 over 162. And I get 13 mv squared over 27 is the energy that's been converted from kinetic energy to something else. So a little bit of math there to get that, but that's the energy converted. So hopefully that makes sense, mostly just review on momentum and energy, and uh, hopefully that helps out a little bit.